Mm, three punch combination. Oh. Goes back to it again. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel, e yokoso. Aso. Welcome to the channel, folks. How I pronounce that right. Before we go to Naoya Inoue versus Louis Neri, let's talk a little about Canelo versus Munguia. Good fight, but not a great fight. It was on the cards that Canelo was going to win. I reckon 80% of the world population predicted that Canelo was going to win. So I predicted a knockout win by Canelo, but it went 12 rounds. And Canelo won by 10 rounds to 2 rounds. Munguia should be proud. He went the distance. It was in the fourth round that Canelo uh, hit Munguia on the side of the head, followed by an uppercut and a body shot. This is the problem Munguia has. He fights with his mouth open. He may have breathing problem from the nose. If he kept his mouth shut, maybe he will not have been knocked down. But he should be proud he went the distance anyway. He will be a better fighter after this experience. If he can come down and wait, he will dominate 160 pound middleweight. That's if he can make the weight. Or wait until Canelo retires because no one can beat Canelo in the 167 pound division. Canelo should be put into Hall of Fame. I personally think he's better than Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya had 45 fights, 6 losses. While Canelo had 65 fights and only 2 losses. The way Canelo absorbs any attacks and lets his opponents do what they are going to do. And soon as they finish and draw their hands back, he moves in with a body shot and a counter-attack. Canelo is the greatest Mexican fighter or boxer of all time. That's my opinion. Oscar De La Hoya tried to intimidate Canelo with drug testing, and it backfired on him, as his fighter, Ryan Garcia, is under investigation for alleged drug doping. And he himself admitted taking drugs. No wonder Garcia had two million bet on himself to win the fight against Haney and claiming he won 10 million. So is the book is going to demand the money back. If I was a bookie, I'll sue Garcia and want my money back. If Garcia is found guilty, they should ban him and make the fight with David Haney no contest. If he is found guilty, he will be disgraced and called a cheat. It shows you one minute is this superstar, the next a cheat and a disgrace. So we come to Nayo Inoue versus Louis Neri. There are two reasons why Naya will not go to America. One, he will be cheated out of his titles. So have a look at Ryan Garcia and a few others. And the other, money side. In America, he will probably only get three to four million dollars to defend his title. But in Japan, he's a superstar and will get 20 million a fight. In Japan, smaller weight fighters are more popular than heavier fighters. I guess there are no heavyweight fighters in Japan, as their average sizes are small. Louis Neri will get knocked out in this fight. He won't go the distance. The Mexican is fighting in Neri's backyard, 7,000 miles away from home, and this will play part in Neri's performance. He will get nervous. Inoue will be spurred on by the Japanese fans, and this will give Inoue a tremendous confidence. The way Louis Neri fights will suit Inoue. Neri tends to drop his guard, and as soon as Neri jabs, he will leave side of the head exposed for Inoue to counter a punch. As Inoue has a great body and leg movements, he will slip to one side and catch Neri with body shots and head punches. Another victory for Inoue. I will be staying up to watch this one. It's going to be a good fight. Anyway, thanks for watching folks. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow. Koshio! Arita go! Zaimasu! Ita! That's all.